<laughs> All right, bro. So this title is what got me. I ain't seen this video yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Damn, damn, damn. Start too early. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen this video, and so uh, I wanted to watch it on on stream with y'all. And uh, <laughs> bro, this title, wow. It's the title is called "Never Tell Straight Men You're Trans," and I just wanna, I don't know what's on it, I don't know what to expect, but let's let's just let's find out. Oh shit! I should uh, the YouTuber dude who who made this video, um, I guess Night Talk. I don't know who he is, it just came up on my uh feed. But uh, if you like this video, go like, comment, subscribe to him, show him some love. <clears throat> but uh let's go. Boy, do I have a doozy for you today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Bro. but before we get into this, make sure I do know this dude. I thought his channel was called something else. Why am I not following him? I think I follow him on Facebook. That's probably what it is. I know it is. Y'all, people who, y'all, we've seen this dude before on here. I let's go. Make sure you pull up to shopstevienight.com anytime. Yeah, Stevie Knight. Some drinks, that's his name. Yeah, that's his name with. on Facebook. Pull up over there, browse through the inventory, find something you like, click it, and at the checkout option, type in promo code do work get you an additional 20% off. So, let's get into it. I'm just gonna play this video, man. The video speak for itself. All right, check it out. Why you shouldn't tell men that you're transgender? St wow, <laughs> bruh. That's why, bruh, you asking for a nick, bro. Dudes don't, put, bruh. Great men. It's because they will judge you beforehand and probably not go on the date with you some people duh bro like dudes can find you attractive all day but if they don't date trans they don't date trans i don't date trans like bro like you can't get mad at that like that's wild i argue that they're not worth your time if they don't want to date you if you're trans but no, because you might literally miss out on the love of your life and the love of their life. No, it's so many. No, it's so many more people out there, especially in today's town, who will date a trans. Like, why would you force somebody to date you? That's like, like somebody believing in something, like a religion or whatever. Like, say, like, you got your beliefs in your religion, and somebody else got their beliefs in their religion. If they can't, if they don't want to believe in your religion or whatever, don't acknowledge it because of their religion and shit, like, you can't get mad at that. Like, people are so weird. Like, people are so entitled nowadays. Like, that's so weird. Like, that mindset is so fucking weird. Because... They might have the preconceived notion of what trans is, trans is in their head. Man in a wig, they're going to be called gay. They're going to be shunned from society, from their family, whatever. Some pe Those are all viable reasons for somebody not to date a trans person. Like, bro, like, they can be cool with you or whatever. If, if they, deep down inside, don't want to do that, and you, you can't force that on nobody, bro, what the fuck is wrong? folks man like what is wrong what is society coming to like but is everybody so like entitled and think that everything has to go their way to the point to where like you're forcing your that is bro i'm lost for words that might not be the case if you get to go on the date with them first wow them and actually show them who you are as a human being first rather than sexuality sexualness whatever the fuck like you just want to be seen first actually have the opportunity to because you deserve to because you're a woman gay men don't find s women attractive so i just don't get it <laughs> oh 
bro. <laughs> I want to see what he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I know he finna say some wild, bro. Oh, I know he finna say so wild. Excuse me, y'all. I, I gotta take. I'm taking our medicine in the midst of all this, but I know he finna say so wild, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's delusion. <laughs> it's delusion. Nothing more than delusion, because anything outside of delusion is just doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. It, it literally doesn't make any sense. I, I think I'm safe saying that I, I can speak for a hundred percent of heterosexual men out here that what this individual was talking about is a crock of bullshit. It's bullshit. It's either delusion. That should be a crime too. Like for real. Like that should that should be a crime. Like if you don't disclose that like you're trans to somebody and like um like what's that the trans girl she did that to kevin gates she didn't tell kevin gates that she was a trans and he ended up smashing and in the midst of smashing he's like bro why aren't you wet like why aren't you getting wet like and we all know kevin gates how nasty he is like he know how vagina work and so like if it wasn't doing what it's supposed to do. He thinking that she lied and like he wasn't turning her on, but she was like, you know how females are or trans females in this, this situation. And he like, if you saying all this, that and third and you want to be with me and then it's not given what it's given, then what's up? And then, you know, she finally told him after they had already started the festivities and he just stopped right there and there, but he, you know, he politely like was like, you know, you gotta go, you know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is that she took that and made a whole story out of it, not even like telling the truth. She made it seem like they just had a time they 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 had a you know a lovely night, end up smashing, and she went home. And then, but she never told him, told the world that like, you know, she lied to him and stuff. And that's, that's messed up, bro. That's fucked up, bro. For real. Or ignorance or naivete. Just being a common sensical person. Or maybe you just don't know what heterosexual means. Or maybe you just changed the definition of what heterosexual means to make you feel better about your situation. Because you want to be taken seriously as a female so much that you've moved the meter of what heterosexual means to accommodate your feelings. But I'm sorry to tell you, sweetheart, that's not what heterosexual is. And I feel confident in speaking for 100% of heterosexual men out here when I say get the fuck out of here with that tape <laughs> because you are putting that man's life in jeopardy by doing what you're doing. Exactly like, bro, like, take kevin gates for instance not a lot of dudes is going to respect you enough to politely get you to leave like you like dudes are going to wild out you going to get beat this beat up like like uh like that girl that played a prank on her uh boyfriend she said that she was trans and he didn't hesitate he whooped her ass bro like beat her to sleep i felt bad for her but she ended up saying like it was a prank after the fact but it's just like bro you can't control somebody's anger especially in today's time while these dudes are especially the dudes these females like and trans females like everybody go out to the 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 hood dudes the the you know what I'm saying all of them are super emotional all the thugs all the gangsters they're all super emotional they can't handle they don't know how to react in a calmly manner or think things through when they get like that and it's just like it's old with it didn't hell you liable to get shot by one of them for real like doing that man that's crazy and you putting your life in jeopardy by doing what you're doing but i wouldn't even take it there man i wouldn't even take it there it's based on some of the things that this individual spoke in that in that in that short video men maybe have a, a different idea of what trans is no 
They do not. The only thing men know and the only thing men are focused on is that they want to be a thousand percent sure that your ass is XX and not XY. That's what trans is. It ain't got shit to do with a woman in a wig, woman in face, none of that. They just want to make sure that your ass ain't got the same shit that they got. The same DNA, the same testosterone, the same urges, the same thoughts, the same experience. British thinking about that shit is disgusting. Well, depending upon when you started your transition, the fact that you may have had a goddamn hard on before. The fact that you may have ejaculated before. But they want what they want <laughs> so bad that they don't give a fuck about how the heterosexual man is going to feel. Right? And then, and then it's so far gone that they can demonize a man for having his preferences, bro. Or, or demonize the man for walking the biological destiny that was that was set forth for him in the first place and not allow your trans ass to get in the way to, to create an obstacle by lying to the motherfucker, making him think that you are a woman when you're not. What else did they say? They said, um, you could possibly miss out on the love of your life if, 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 if I tell you that I'm trans. Nah, because a heterosexual man's Love of his life could never be a trans motherfucker, bro. You got to yep. get that shit through your head. We don't operate that way. I don't give a damn how the fuck you made me feel. We don't give a fuck how the fuck you made us feel, how <laughs> feminine you are, how well you may pass as a woman, how good your massage is, how good your head is, how good the booty hole was. Just <laughs> proud to learn that there are women. We don't give a fuck about none of that. The moment we find out that your ass is X, Y, you're ineligible to be the love of our life. Matter of fact, you're eligible to get in your ass whooped now. You're eligible to goddamn getting choked out now. Which one is? That's why. I See, and that's what goes back to saying, like, bro, like, you cannot. Bro, people, re you cannot get upset how people react to you. Like, especially if you're lying, man. And that's the main thing, female, like, trans females, regular females, they all want you to be on they want us to be honest with them but then they don't be honest with us it's a wild world out here i said you put my life in danger too because now i can go to goddamn prison for manslaughter you know what i'm saying for a crime of passion come to find out that you made me fuck a whole man right that's the heterosexual man's world right that's a heterosexual man's world you need to get that shit through your head because the more you play this fucking cat and mouse game the the the, the, the more opportunities that you are putting your life in danger right you're not looking for a heterosexual man you're not you're looking for this other shit these other sexualities y'all got made up in 2024 right i mean i even entertain this whole concept of a sexuality spectrum like i give y'all that bro i give y'all that and when i say i speak for 100 percent of heterosexual men like i speak let me, let me digress on this heterosexual spectrum i'm talking about homosexuality yeah, he 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 get real he, bruh, he getting heated thinking about it because you're lying like that is that is so fucked up in so many ways lying about that to somebody, bro. I can only in mm. heterosexual. I ain't talking about all this other pansexual, transsexual, boat sexual, cat sexual <laughs> shit. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about homosexual, heterosexual, right? Ten being heterosexual. Zero being homosexual, bro. When I say I'm speaking for heterosexual men, I'm speaking for the 10 out of 10. The 10 out of 10 feel the way that I'm talking. And these are the motherfuckers that it seems like your ass is going at, right? The heterosexual straight men. No, you don't want them. You don't want them. And that's another thing that, that uh, baffles me. Like, why? Why go? Why when you? Why, let's just take tr trans women. Like, why go through all that you know go through the st stuff to get become trans or whatever and then you want the straight men when there's a whole plethora of dudes that are on a down low that will smash you know what i'm saying like it's so many dudes that will date you that will be out there but no they like the thrill of converting like a straight dude and it's like i don't and and it's gay dudes are like that too like like gay dudes and trans women like they, they, i guess they'd be the same ones but a lot of them will go after dudes that they know that aren't gay versus the ones that are gay like that is 
I don't. That's like, is that a mental thing? Like, what is like, what's the thrill in that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the why? Why is that a thing? Like, please, like, I would like to know. Like, if you're watching this video, like, please, like, in the comments, like, let me know, like, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what makes them do that? Like, that's just weird to me. Something, right? You want the fucking the six point sevens maybe or the seven point twos? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, why not go after the dudes that want them? Like. It's the ones that want them, they don't want. It's the ones that don't want them, they want. That's so weird. Like they, you, you could look like a girl, but they okay with you being born a man and shit. That's not, that's not heterosexual. That's not straight. That's something different, right? So keep your energy for them. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but at the end of the day, regardless of what their sexuality is or where they are on the spectrum of sexuality. You need to be 100% upfront and honest of who you are and what you're coming as. You're, you're only thinking about yourself. Only thinking about your self-interest. You're not thinking about, about anybody else. That's selfish as fuck. Especially when it comes to a heterosexual man. And don't, and I know y'all motherfuckers is. You may not be, you may not be particularly, but I know y'all motherfuckers is out here reeling motherfuckers in, not telling them shit. Having them have sex with you, spend money on you, showing you off. Taking you, showing you to, showing you to your homeboy, showing you to the friends and shit, not telling them nothing, and then come to find out that you was born a whole man, bro. What? What? You know what I'm talking about? That should it should be against the law. It should be against the law, bro. It's it's, it's no what I just that say. What I just say. What I just said though. This should be against the law. That should be against the law, for real. Logic that, that the logic that the school just used is no. But there's no laws to protect men in these situations anymore it's always gonna just turn into a passion of crime and make us look at fault different than like you know a married woman with kids out here broadcasting herself as a single person right you know what i'm saying and then you know now she touched her now she uh interacted with with, with old boy with, her, with whatever dude she talking to he he hooked now because she put it on him you know what i'm saying she did something and now she now she got him now now she dropping him now you know i'm married with kids it's no different than that because you're being dishonest. You're only thinking about yourself. Yup. Yup. That's true too. That's bro. So bro, it's sad. It's so sad out here. Like dudes, like bro, brothers, y'all gotta be safe, my boy. Y'all gotta be safe out here, man. It's rough out here for us. Only think about yourself. You want to be looked at as a human being. We'll be looked at as a human being. Come with your human being shit from jump, right? I am a transgender woman. Take me. Or leave me. And then this 2024, man, play the eyes, bro. Like, you probably gonna get what you want anyway because most motherfuckers is pussy nowadays any goddamn way, right? You do yourself a fucking favor. That is true. I go back to what I was saying. Like, a lot of dudes, it's a lot of dudes on the DL. Like, you may not get shown off and stuff like you want to, but they date you a smash. But hell, everything just runs off sex nowadays. Nobody got self control anymore. So hell, you'll get what you want. You'll get smashed in an instant. Don't play with your goddamn life. Play with his life too. You know what I'm saying? Ah, it is by, I got I got so fucking long winded already, man. The only reason why I brought this video up, man, and shout out to Sarah Garvey. That's the, that's the homie. I actually saw this video on his IG. Why you shouldn't tell men that you're transgender? What? It's because they will judge you beforehand and probably not go on the date with you. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock. No, because you might literally <laughs> miss out on the love of your life and the love of their life because they might have the preconceived notion of what trans is, trans is in their head. You need psychiatric evaluation. Pulled it up and found a source. Come to find out that this particular individual made a video about me. If you had a surgery and shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, cool that you letting them know before they slide the tip in, whatever you got down there. But fuck that. Fuck that. That should be against the law, bro. That's no different than allowing someone to smash when you got like a STD or something. You're lying to them. This is the other thing that annoys me. It's that when people are comparing someone's trans status as like a sexually transmitted disease or whatever, something bad. <laughs> and I plan to include that video on this one.
but the STD is bad. Like, who? Like, bro, she got. She has a mental problem for real. Some of my, but she has a mental problem. Like, she's saying the STD is considered some. Bro, like, run that back. Like, run that back real quick. Like, the smash when you got like a STD or something. You lying to him. This is the other thing that annoys me. It's that when people are comparing someone's trans status as like a sexually transmitted disease or whatever, something bad. <laughs> and I have plenty to include that. Trans isn't necessarily bad, but like she's missing the comparison. Like that is like somebody saying they have an STD. That is like somebody having an STD and they're not telling them like, just because you're not telling somebody that's trans yet being trans is not bad but not telling someone is the bad having an std necessarily isn't bad it is bad <laughs> but not telling them is even worse you get what i'm saying like you're passing that on like now you ruining somebody else's life and everything like bro like let's just take me like some people out here like i got sickle cells sickle cells like if you get an std with sickle cells they make this shit a million times worse because it's affecting your immune system too so like i get an st if i was to get an std i'm screwed you get what i'm saying and so like just picture somebody like out here with an std and they smash somebody with sickle cells and that person with sickle cells die because that person they didn't know that they smashed the person not knowing that they had an SD. Yeah, I know you're gonna say wrap it up. This that, and third. that does not that doesn't automatically like exclude you from not catching anything. But people lie. People don't check their cells. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people don't fucking go to the doctor and stuff. And it's just like you pass that S T D on thinking, you know, just being selfish, being selfish, and then boom. That person, they get sick or whatever, not knowing what's going on. And then the doctor find out too late that they got an STD. And that person's already like, you'd be surprised what like something like sickle cells, you know, something to do with somebody. And then they're out here lying, passing that shit on. That video on this Granted, one, but I'll do that next. Granted. Of course, like not telling somebody you're trans, you're gonna kill them. But still, like that person may react in a way that puts them in jail. You still can ruin somebody's life by not telling them. Like, yes, it's all it's all just fucked up. Not telling somebody what you got, what's going on, it's just all fucked up. Next time, this video's already gotten long enough, man. But tell me, I'm lying, dog. For the for the for the heterosexual men. From the ten for the ten out of ten heterosexual men, am I lying? We all think the same way, one hundred percent. No, don't lie. Do not lie. Do not lie. He right. He right. Anyway, go follow him. You know, say I'm gonna uh, follow him. I, I thought I was following him already on YouTube, but I guess not. Unless YouTube did one of those weird things where uh, they fucking. You know, they just be deleting folks and shit. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Uh, his video is going to be in the description of this video. Anyway, talk to y'all later.